G'day guys and welcome to another segment of my Cisco practice questions. So today we're looking at network cabling. First question we got is 32. What type of cable would you use if you wanted to connect a system to an RJ45 port on a switch? So that's a, I guess a traditional sort of uh, ethernet cable. And the answer to this one is C, a straight through cable. That, will, that is generally uh, the accepted response for connecting a normal computer to a switch router or another end device that is not the same bearing that in mind which helps with this question here 33 you wish to network two systems by connecting a computer directly to another computer which type of cable would you use for straight through it is different so you have like a computer for example laptop device whatever connecting to a switch or a router that's different so it's straight through for the same we go for B, crossover. So if they're the same, they're basically connected by a crossover cable for them to communicate. For question 34, you need to create a crossover cable. What wires would you cross on one of the ends? Of course, I know this answer off by heart, but the answer is D, one and two, one and two with three and six. So there's eight cables inside or eight little parts to the cable that have to be uh, properly jacked into the RJ45 connector for it to be able to uh, connect to a network. Question 35, see figure below, you are trying to ping computer B from computer A and are unsuccessful, what is the problem? So with these types of questions, it's basically a process of elimination as most are. Uh, so what I go, what I do is basically look at the simplest uh, problem and if it's not that, look to another problem. For this one in particular, feel free to pause it if you want to you know, not hear what I have to say uh, in terms of the answer. But the answer on this one, you look at over here at the switch and I've got the router up here. They're using a crossover cable. Now they're not the same types of uh, devices. You've got a switch and a router using a crossover cable, that's a no-no. It should be a straight through cable. So the answer to this one would be D. The cable type between the switches and routers is incorrect. With question 36, you are testing communication to a router and have decided to connect your workstation to the fast ethernet port of the router. What type of cable would you use? Now this one is a bit of a trick question and I actually looked through it and when we straight through it, that is not actually the right answer. It is actually B crossover. This is kind of a weird one because the router and the workstation both act as hosts on the network. So they're technically similar devices and similar devices are connected through crossover cables. A bit of a trick, trick question and a ridiculous question of that. Uh, that's the answer to 36. Question 37, you have a UTP cable that has been configured at both ends with the 568B standard. What type of cable is it? Well, if it's the same on both ends, uh, then it's a straight through cable. So that's the answer, A, straight through. They're basically connecting uh, two non-similar devices together with the same connection. And we've got question 38. You wish to create a crossover cable and have a wired one end of the cable with the 56A standard. What standard should you use to wire the opposite end of the cable? The crossover cable will be a bit different to a straight through cable. So it would it can't be 56A, and in this instance, it's very similar, but just a slight uh, slight configuration switch, so it would be 568B on the end of that one. So those are the practice questions for today, guys. Uh, thanks for sticking around. Don't forget to give the video a bit of a like. Don't forget to subscribe as well for more of these quizzes and other Cisco Labs tutorials, Windows tutorials, and all that kind of Good stuff, so feel free to stick around for that, check out my other videos, and uh, that'd be fantastic if you could do all of that. Thanks for sticking around, guys, and I'll see you on the next tutorial.